What's up guys, uh, Sergio here. So today what I wanna, want to talk to you guys about are the three key factors for muscle growth. Now, if you guys are, uh, or if you are someone who is already an avid weightlifter, or if you're somebody who uh, exercises and works out on a regular basis, chances are you're already doing one, if not all three of these factors. But if you know specifically what these key factors are, you can be more specific and strategic about making sure that your workout program includes all these so that you can get better and faster results. So let's dive right in. So the primary factors for muscle growth are gonna be mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and muscle damage. So starting off with mechanical tension, mechanical tension can be described as the force that you put on your muscles when trying to contract them against resistance. So by increasing the weight that you're lifting, you're going to allow for more muscle growth. Now there is a limit to how much, um, how, how heavy you should make your loads. You shouldn't go higher than 90% of your one rep max because doing so might actually shift the focus off the muscle that you're trying to grow. So the way that, so how this will look in a workout program would be doing sets of uh, three to eight or five to 12. Uh, and the reason why there's a variation in the repetition range is it's very dependent on the experience of the lifter as well as the uh, type of exercise that you're doing. So what I encourage you guys to do in order to figure this out is to try out these repetition ranges. You wanna see which repetition ranges you can do with good form from start to finish. All right, so the second uh, factor for muscle growth is gonna be metabolic stress. And metabolic stress is usually, it's usually defined as the pump sensation that you get or burning sensation uh, that you feel uh, during or right after an exercise set. So there's three ways that you can bring about metabolic stress. So the first one is gonna be lack of oxygen to the muscle. Uh, the second one is gonna be uh, cellular swelling. So basically, this is the pooling of blood in the muscle, which gives you that pump sensation that I mentioned earlier. And the last one is gonna be occlusion, or restriction of blood flow in the muscle uh, due to multiple contractions of that muscle. Um, another way to cause uh, occlusion is gonna be through BFR training, which is blood flow restriction training. Uh, and I actually did a video on this uh, uh, prior, so if you guys are interested in BFR training uh, and want to know what that is and how to implement it, um, I'll put a link in the description at the end of the video uh, so you guys can check that out. So when, when metabolic stress occurs through one of these three processes, uh, you will get an accumulation of metabolites in the blood. So you, you'll get accumulation of things like uh, creatine, lactate, and, and things like that, uh, which are going to lead to muscle growth. And the way that this is going to look in a exercise program is going to have this is going to be uh, increasing your uh, repetitions, increasing your volume, and also decreasing the amount of rest that you have in between sets. Uh, this is going to cause an increase in metabolic stress, which is going to lead to greater muscle growth. The last key factor uh, to muscle growth is going to be muscle damage. Now, muscle damage is probably the most common one or the one that we think about when, it, when we talk about you know, getting gains and, and getting uh, muscle growth. So muscle damage is uh, described as when you go to work out, um, you tear down the muscle, and then when you recover from the exercise bout, your muscle rebuilds itself to be uh, stronger, um, bigger, uh, better than it was before, and it's able to adapt to the stimulus that you put on it prior. So muscle damage, muscle damage is really going to be found in the earlier two uh, factors of muscle growth uh, as well. So uh, whether that's increasing mechanical tension by increasing the load that you're lifting, or whether that's increasing the metabolic stress through high volume, high repetitions, and short rest periods, you're going to get a little bit of muscle damage through that. But if you wanted to really focus on the anabolic response from muscle damage alone, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you focus on the eccentric uh, parts of the movements in your exercises. So the eccentric part of the movement is going to be the lowering phase of an exercise. So for example, if I'm doing a bicep curl, uh, the lowering phase is going to be considered the eccentric uh, contraction. So um, focusing on the lowering phase of the movement is going to actually bring about more muscle damage. Uh, the eccentric contraction specifically uh, causes more muscle damage than the the concentric or the raising phase of a movement. So one thing I will say with uh, muscle damage and eccentric contractions 
are you want to be careful on how much of this and how frequently you do it because uh, when you have more muscle damage you're obviously not going to be able to lift as efficiently or effectively so you want to be strategic on when you do these eccentric movements and make sure that you're not doing them too frequently or in such a way that it interferes with the rest of the workouts that you got going on throughout the week uh, so uh, you definitely want to be a little strategic in when you implement these eccentric movements uh, to create more muscle damage and like I said before uh, muscle damage you're going to get pretty much through uh, any type of uh, exercise so you don't need to be too worried about focusing on the centric parts of the movement uh, very often so those are the three factors uh, when it comes to muscle growth uh, hopefully you guys can take those factors and imp implement them into your workout program so that you can have uh, more efficient uh, uh, and, and quicker results when it comes to muscle growth if you are interested uh, in exercise programming or you need uh, someone or you're looking for someone to put together a workout program that includes these three factors um, for muscle growth or maybe you're just looking to uh, get a workout program that helps to increase your strength or put on more muscle or even weight loss uh, please contact me because that is one of the services that I do offer so uh, that is it um, I will put a link uh, in the description to where I got all of my information on this topic um, if you guys did like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.